explore Italy with the upcoming Orient Express La Dolce Vita. Welcome to the Lux Aura Channel, the place that inspires you to live a beautiful, successful, and elegant life. In this video, we'll take a look inside the Orient Express upcoming La Dolce Vita luxury train. Italy, the Mediterranean Sea's boot-shaped nation, was the fifth most popular tourist destination in the world in 2019. After France, Spain, the United States, and China, Italy attracts visitors for a variety of reasons, including its cultural resources, world-class cuisine, vibrant people, cutting-edge style, historic buildings, and picture-perfect cities. Furthermore, Italy's gorgeous scenery includes awe-inspiring coasts, alpine lakes, and awe-inspiring peaks. This country has the most number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, from the Italian Riviera and Venice's Grand Canal to the stunning Amalfi Coast and the Pompeii Ruins, Italy has something for everyone. And now you can explore Italy with the upcoming Orient Express La Dolce Vita. The new train's design pays homage to La Dolce Vita, a time in Italian history marked by great eclecticism and artistic enthusiasm in the 1960s. This was a pivotal period in Italian history when the country's inventiveness in the sectors of industry, art, and entertainment was enhanced and shared with the rest of the globe. When Georges Nagelmackers established the first luxurious Orient Express train 150 years ago, he made a dream a reality. In 2023, the Orient Express will resume service, providing passengers with a once-in-a-lifetime voyage through one of the world's most adored countries. The Orient Express was designed to visit not just the main cities, but also smaller off-the-beaten-path jewels. As viewed via fashion and design, the 1960s and 1970s were the eras of La Dolce Vita. Six different trains will be launched as part of the Orient Express La Dolce Vita project, which will span 14 Italian regions, three foreign routes, and more than 10,000 miles of railway lines. Reservations will start in June 2022 for travel in 2023, and trips are estimated to last one to three days. The train's interior, designed by architecture and design firm Demore Studio, expertly blends the golden period of Italian style with a more contemporary feel. There are vibrant rugs, large windows, and contemporary artworks throughout the space. The interior will remain lavish, but will represent the 1960s, 1970s Italy rather than the classical tone of the original with 12 luxury cabins, 18 suites, one honor suites, and a restaurant. The inspiration came from design icons of the era such as Carlos Carpa, Gio Ponti, and Ignazio Gardella, as well as artists of the Spatialism movement who highlighted space and time in their work to create the look that would fuse era design with the spirit of travel. The Orient Express comeback fits within a larger trend gaining traction in Italy. The resurgence of historic trains and railway lines is part of a general shift in Europe towards slow travel. Naturally, Italian wines and cuisines, as well as local Made in Italy items, will be offered on board in partnership with local chefs and sommeliers in different destinations. A separate executive lounge for train passengers will also be available at the railway's major hub in Rome's Termini Station with local drinks and employees to help travelers prepare for their journey. Six trains will make the journeys, which will go from north to south across 14 areas of the country, as well as to three locations outside of the country, Rome to Paris, Istanbul, and Split Croatia. 10,000 miles of railway lines will be explored as part of the partnership with SNCF, including 4,375 miles of backcountry routes, leading to lesser-known spectacular discoveries, past lakes, woods, alpine slopes, and coastline. The train will travel from the Italian lakes to the Dolomites and Veneto in the north, stopping in Venice, the Lang region, and Mantova. Passengers traveling in November will be able to savor the first white truffles in Alba. In the center, the railway ascends from Rome through the Tuscan hills and Umbria, past vineyards and the art treasures of Florence and Siena. Passengers will see Sicily's untamed wests, turning back towards Syracuse and Mount Etna, then up at the Ionan coasts to the beaches of Salento, with stops at the Baruch city of Lecce and the tiered city of Matera, before continuing on to Naples and Pompeii. Passengers 
Visitors traveling internationally will travel through the French and Italian Rivieras between Rome and Paris. The journey from Rome to Istanbul follows the same itinerary as the first Orient Express, which departed from Venice and arrived in Istanbul. Along the shore of the Dalmatian coasts, the routes from Rome to Split also passes via Venice and Trieste. Visitors beginning or completing their journeys in Rome will have an option tied to the train when it opens the following year. The first hotel of the new company, the Orient Express Hotel, Minerva, is being built in the ancient 17th century palace, Palatio Fonseca, which was previously known as the Grand Hotel de la Minerve in the city's Pantheon district. It was formerly a stopover on the European Grand Tour, attracting riders like Herman Melville, as well as a long-term residency for riders like George Sand and Stendhal. The new owners hope to make it a part of history once again. Not too surprising is the cost of a stay on the Orient Express La Dolce Vita. The trips will set you back over 2,000 euros or around $2,255 per person per night. Just like the ever-changing coastline viewed from a super yacht enriches the experience, the tapestry of shifting landscapes and mood of the location you encounter on this train enriches the experience even more. By resurrecting the golden age of train travel via modern luxury, the route unites three of Europe's most thrilling and culturally rich cities, bringing the continent back to life. The experience is made even more luxurious by the train's unique history, exquisite service, and sheer abundance of room. It is a true indulgence. So are you ready to discover the wonders of Italy aboard the Orient Express La Dolce Vita? Leave us a comment below and as always, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel before you leave. Thanks for watching. See you next time.